Well, we come out here every winter to monitor the population of California red-legged frogs. And we monitor the frog population by looking only at the egg masses. And we do that because the egg masses are stationary and they're relatively easy to find. So here's an egg mass right here. Great. Oh, there's another one. All right. So we come out here about five times every winter and we try to time it so that we come out just after a pretty significant rainfall um, because we found that's when the frogs uh, prefer to lay their eggs. Every winter time we come out every about every two weeks and look for new egg masses put down by the threatened California red-legged frogs. We started about 45 minutes ago in this particular pond and we've already found about 15 egg masses and we're hoping to find some more as we continue through this monitoring session. The California red-legged frog egg masses are about the size of a grapefruit. They can be about this big around, and they're composed of hundreds of little eggs. And the eggs look a lot like the tapioca that you get in a bubble tea. We actually did a big habitat enhancement project starting in 2007. We constructed three ponds and we've been hard at work revegetating this pond, hoping to enhance the habitat for California red-legged frogs and San Francisco garter snakes. We can track the changes and the development of the embryo over time to see how old the developing tadpoles are. So monitoring the frog populations gives us a sense of how well our restoration activities are working. We are committed to enhancing the California red-legged frog populations out here because it is a federally threatened species.